And Ian, come right here. All right, now, we're, you guys are going to be in a competition in just a minute. All right, yeah. So, Nina, take a look at this right here. All right, this is a competition of strength. Okay, strength. All right, all right. Okay, don't flex. I don't want you to, you know, rip your shirt or anything there. All right. <laughs> Of strength and speed and speed. And so in a moment, I'm going to give each of you a piece of paper and I'm going to have you tear that piece of paper into as many little bitty pieces as you can. And you can just let the pieces fall on the ground and, and that's okay. And then at the end, we're going to see who tore up the most pieces and whoever did is, is going to win. Okay, Nina, do you think you can beat Ian? Oh, she's confident. Look at that. <laughs> Now, Ian, by the look on his face, I can tell he's a little scared, but I've got to give you a couple of rules here, okay? Rule number one is you cannot, you cannot use your teeth, okay? So no biting the paper, nothing like that, okay? Rule number two is you cannot pull out that big old manly pocket knife. Nina, you have to leave your knife alone, okay? No big old manly <laughs> knife, okay? And so I'm going to give each of you a piece of paper, all right? And yours says God and yours says world. And when I say go, I just want you to tear it into as many little bitty pieces as you can. Here we go. Ready? On your mark, get set, go, and just tear it in many little pieces. Yeah, just tear it, tear it. Just rip it, rip it, rip it. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, keep going. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Okay, that's great. Now, Nina, you did exactly what I asked you to do. Look at all these pieces right here. You did a fantastic job. All right, great. Now, Ian, give me your... Did you bite it? No. You tore a little edge off. Okay, now, Nina, this is what I want you to know. This is actually an unfair competition. It really is. Because you had a piece of regular paper, and Ian had a piece of, well, it's called unterrible paper. <laughs> I, I'm actually impressed he got a little nick out of the side. <laughs> but the point is this. In your life, if you live for all the things of this world, at the end of life... You're going to be left with this. But if you live for the things of God and you invest your life into eternal things, nothing and nobody can ever tear those from you. Amen. And I want you to know the life that you've always wanted, it's only found in a right relationship with God through Jesus Christ. And you will never regret surrendering everything to him. All right, now you guys are going to help me out. That was a little bit of an unfair competition. So we're going to have one a little more fair because I want Ian to feel good about this. That's all right, Nina. You can just leave that right there. That's all right. I want you to stick out your hand like this, Ian. All right, stick out your hand like this. Now, Nina, I want you to take your arm like this. All right, oh, good. I want you to lock arms. Now, Nina, do you, you know what tug of war is, right? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, okay. She said, oh, no. <laughs> I take that as a yes, you know what tug of war is. Okay. Now, in tug of war, you've got two sides, and the two sides are pulling against each other, but only one side wins. Now, which side is the side that wins? What, what, which, which side wins? Yeah, the side that's stronger, that's the side that wins. Now, I want you to know, in your life, there's a tug. There's a tug between the things of the world, and there's a tug between the things of God. And in your life, what's going to win is what's stronger. All right, now we're going to illustrate this. You ready? On the count of three, okay? I want you to pull. I mean, you're going to try to pull each other. Here we go. Ready? On your mark. One, two. Okay, we're not really going to do this because Ian, she would throw you over into those banisters right there. We don't want to see that. We don't want... All right, give them a hand for helping me. You guys can have a seat. <laughs> Nina, you can have it. You did fantastic. Good job, Nina. All right, now, in your life, what's going to win in this tug? It's what's stronger in your life. Now, I want you to pretend for a second that I have two dogs. And these two dogs in my backyard, let's just pretend they don't like each other. And so they're always fighting. And let's say I leave town to go somewhere like Colorado Springs. And I go to my neighbor and I say, I want you to feed my dogs. But he doesn't know that I have two dogs. So when he goes over, he only sees one dog. Let's say it's the brown dog. And so all he does all week long is he feeds and he gives water to the brown dog. But he doesn't see that I've got a white dog on the other side side over there and he doesn't give that dog anything now let's say I get home and those two dogs get in the backyard and they start fighting who's gonna win yeah the brown dog why because he's stronger and the reason he's stronger is because he's the one who was fed and in your life in this tug between the things of the world and the things of God what's gonna win is what's gonna be stronger what's gonna be stronger is the one you feed and so this morning, before we go any further, I want you to take a look at your life. In fact, I want you to close your eyes real quick. 
And with your eyes closed, I want you to think about your life. What really matters to you? I mean, what, what are you living for? Because you'll find a lot of the things we live for, and I'm not saying these are bad things, but, you know, a better job, more money, bigger house, stuff. These things don't last. What are you living for that's going to go to eternity with you? And if you were to stand before God right now and give an account for your life, what would there be to show that you ever even lived?